Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see on how to add a background to the template and insert files into the sheet. We shall see how to create a plain background, image background, rendered background, and gradient background. And an interesting bonus content for you. To convert the scanned sketches and plan into digital drawing. By default, the sheet has plain white background. Let's lock the sheet template, so that, it does not get affected. Disable the visibility icon if you feel that it is a hindrance to create the bob ground. Now, let's fill the background with some plain colors using the, solid color option. Select the required color and reposition the layer below sheet template group. To fill the background with gradient, select the gradient option. We can select the required gradient preset. We can also change it to any required gradient style. We can also change the angle of the gradient and the alignment. Slide this slide bar to adjust the scale. Click OK to apply it. Let's create a gradient with custom colors. Click the gradient tool, just below the eraser tool. The preset gradients are available. We can drag this line to define the direction or the alignment of the gradient. We can also change the style as radial, angled, diamond or linear. To create a new gradient, click on the gradient colors. Double click on this small square to change to custom color. We can change the mixing by the slider. Now, draw the line to apply our custom gradient. We can directly open the vector or Adobe Illustrator files into the Photoshop. The vector files will open as PNG transparent image. Drag the vector into the sheet using transform tool and resize it. Remember, press enter to apply the transformation. Let me show you how to insert only a part of the vector. Select the required portion of the vector using a mark tool or the lasso tool. We can drag the selection and insert into the sheet. We can blend this vector or any image with the background using the blend drop down menu. Yeah, this is good. Now, let me insert a PDF file of a site drawing exported from AutoCAD. This also being inserted as transparent PNG image. Drag the drawing into the sheet using transform tool and resize it. Now, I don't want the north point and the title. Select the required portion and make sure that the drawing layer is selected. Right click on the selection. To deselect the selection, we can click the deselect option or press Ctrl plus D. To select the remaining part than the selected part, click select inverse option. Press delete button to delete the unwanted portion. Let's add some shadow to the drawing to enhance it from the background. Double click on the layer. Layer style dialog box opens. We can add any style as our wish. I am adding a drop shadow to enhance it. We can adjust the attributes of the shadow. Yes. Now the drawing looks better. Now, let me show you how I insert the PNG files that are downloaded from the internet. Just drag and drop into the sheet to insert it. Reorder the layers to place it one above other. Now, let's insert a picture background and blend with the gradient. Drag and drop the picture into the sheet. Resize and position it into the sheet. Position the layers. We can make this picture shuttle by reducing the opacity or fill of the picture layer. We can try the blend option. Reducing opacity is better for this picture. Let's see how this vector blends with the image. Not bad. Let's insert the side drawing and see how it comes. Add shadow to the drawing to enhance it. Try some other styles too if required. 
let's add a picture or render JPG file into the sheet. Duplicate the layer as we are going to select on out the required portion. I don't want these white background. We can either select the building using the marquee tool or the lasso tool. But that will take time. To select quickly, let's use a trick. Go to, select menu, and click on, required option. Color range option selects particular color from the image. Subject option will automatically detect and select the subject in the image. But that doesn't seem to be accurate. There are flaws. Let's try, focus area option. We can see preview of the selection. Click, OK to select. Let's remove this white area also. We have to subtract the cell cutushion to remove the white area. Let's insert and resize in the sheet. Blend it by reducing opacity or blend options. Let me keep it very very shuttle. So that, this doesn't affect the sheet contents. Let's position this astronaut vector. This background shows that my content is related to a space building. And the site plan drawing also enhanced in the sheet. Sometimes, we might fall in a situation to insert scanned hand-drawn sketches and plans. Let me show you how to insert them. I have these sketches and plan with white background. Let me insert the plan as a drawing. After inserting into the sheet, try the blend options. This will blend the white background and enhance only the drawing. Let me insert the sketch now. Blend it. Yeah. This looks so good. Remember to group and lock the background elements. Yes. Thank you all for watching. Follow up my next video for the upcoming steps. Share this video to your friends and help them. Subscribe to get architecture related contents.